We're back. We're talking about fishing lands again, and they had a huge update that has increased the amount of stuff you can do in game. And they're pulling out these updates once a month, which is very superior to any other game that I'm aware of right now. I don't know a game that is putting this much content this quickly. Now you're going to be able to farm, raise animals, and breed animals, all three different things. In this video, I'm going to go over and tell you exactly how to do it, show you how it works. And yeah, let's go and hit the computer and talk more about it. Here's a quick look at the new update here. You can see we have the farming area here. We're raising the piglets here and we're breeding the pigs here. So this is the new area. We're going to go over it in more detail. I just want to let you know I am not a financial advisor. I am a gamer, so make sure you do your own research. I want to thank Fishing Lands for sponsoring this video. We definitely do appreciate it. I'm loving this game, as you know. I've made lots of videos on it already and still playing. Still going through and expanding my position and trying to get more and more into the game because it's fun to play. Here is the new area of fishing lands. If we go through past the lands area, this pops up and you can install different items to work on. I have all three items here. I have a rice patch, a place to raise animals, and place to breed animals. So I got all three. These are NFTs that you need to purchase to be able to use them. And if you are checking this out, they may still have some available on the drop. So you could check that out. Here's the drop and you can see farmer plots. There are still a lot left. Animal farms is getting a little low, so you're not going to be able to get those too much longer. And the animal breeding farms pretty much sold out right away. So those are going to be hard to get and you have to get those on a secondhand store like Atomic Hub. So if you take a look here and you do the breeding, there are six available on Atomic Hub. Remember, only 30 people ever will be able to breed animals in this game. That's pretty insane that that's uh, that's the thing. There are some rice plots available too, but don't buy them here. Go to the drop link and pick it up for $40. Because why pick it up for 90 if you could pick it up for 40 I went all three. Now, I've already been playing this game and have my fishing rods built up. So I do get a decent amount of token. And if you look here, you could see that I do have a good amount of token. I have the silver badge. I tried to update to the gold and it didn't go through. I did use a book to make sure that it did not break. So that's a good thing. For rice farming, this is probably going to be the most popular because it's the most available you just go ahead and click on view and it'll show you how many seedlings you can raise now in the beginning of the game since this is the first week and there are no seeds out you can purchase seeds to go through and install you have to purchase them one at a time from the bait shop and you have to bring them here and install them once they're installed you're able to water them and then the number goes up once these are full grown, they will be able to be harvested and then they'll give between one to three items and it'll be 50% seeds and 50% animal feed. We can actually water these now, so let's go ahead and do that. It'll say how much it costs, 16 and none of the seed. We'll go ahead and confirm that and we'll move this up to number sevens. Now, if it was my first time here and I didn't have the NFT, I would click on install plot up here and I would be able to do it. If I click install plot, it'll tell me that's how much it is to make a new plot, but unfortunately you can only have one at the moment. As things progress, there will be three more you can set up, so there'll be four, but right now we can't even use all of our extra things because we don't have the seeds. Now remember, I get one extra because I have the access pass, two extra because I have the silver pass. If I get a gold pass, I'd then be able to get the final two. Rice seeding also costs 300 of each to stake a plot. And then as I mentioned, we have the badges here and then you water them three times a day and it's three hours apart from each. After that, it'll reset for 24 hours, counting the first watering of the day. For example, if you watered at 11, 14 and 1700, the time will reset to 11 the next day. It also has here rice seeding will be in the ETC area of your inventory and also you will randomly receive two to four of the rarer coin after seeding. 
Animal Farms is next and that's raising them. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. To go through and feed these, we need animal feed and we've done it twice each, but we need to do it more. So what we need to do is go buy some feed and we didn't do that yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna go ahead and just choose bait and fisher shop. That's where all the stuff is. I'll show it to you once we get there. Here's the shop. We'll go ahead and click in here and go to farmer. So here is what we can get. You're allowed one of every pig until these numbers run out. You're allowed one rice seed at a time for a total of four. And animal feed, you can pretty much purchase as much as you need to because you're going to need to keep feeding the animals. So we're going to go ahead and purchase one because you do have to purchase them one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it here. And that is going to mint it to NFT. So you do have an NFT in your inventory now. So we can go ahead and buy another one, which we did. Now we'll be able to go back and go to our area. I just choose lands because it's right near there. That way it gets you close and you could just walk the rest of the distance. So here you're just going to feed them. You're just going to click view and then you'll be able to feed each of them. We have two foods. We are getting low on tokens. So these are going to be the only one we can do right now. So we'll feed this here. And then we will feed this one. We'll feed them again in three hours and I'll probably have more token then because I do have tokens coming in from fishing. And then I have another fishing time after that. So I will have a lot more tokens come tomorrow and I'll be able to keep going through. I wasn't prepared enough with tokens because I did try to get the golden badge at the last minute. And with it not working, it just kind of hit me like, why didn't I save those tokens? I might need them. Here we are. We got three out of 21 and we'll be able to feed them again in three hours. It's pretty much the same thing on the white paper as the other one, except it's 500 per plot. And then the same with the access pass and the badges. And here you'll be able to go ahead and do the same thing with feeding them three times every three hours. And then you have to go through and wait till the next day. The piglets. You'll be able to feed once every time you have to feed them animal food. So it's a lot of animal food. When feeding, it is 20 of each token, one of the seed token, and one animal feed to go through and progress to the next area. You're going to have to do that 21 times. So the reward is going to be uh, basically an adult pig, male or female. You're going to get one to three pork pieces per pig. A pork piece will be down here. It's going to tell you you'll get these options here. The blessing stones are very nice. So that's a very good option to have because they are needed right now. And then you can see how much token you get of each. And finally, you get items for crafting bait. So you'll be able to craft some bait, which will be interesting to see that portion. See, a lot of this hasn't happened because it hasn't been a full week since the update's been out. So we're still kind of going along and seeing what it's going to be. So that is raising the piglets. Again, there are still some available in the drop. Currently, there's 21 in stock, so you could check that out as long as they're still available when this video comes out. Finally, we have the breeding area, and this is the one that is sold out, so not a lot of people will be playing it. There's only 30 of these. There's 60 of the raising, and then there's 180 of the farming. So we can click here and take a look. I do have two pigs, which I was able to purchase. And now I can go through and feed them. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to feed them both. So I'm going to wait because I like to feed them both at the same time. Probably in about an hour, I'll be able to have enough tokens. So then I can feed them both. And it's kind of the same that you just saw with the other one. And you can also raise more. So how this will work is I'll be breeding these. I'll get the piglets. I put the piglets in the other area. I'll raise them. Once they're raised, they can come back in here and then I have more to breed. And then I breed those with the others and then I get more piglets. And it basically keeps going back and forth. Meanwhile, I gotta keep up with my farm to keep my animal feed coming in because that is gonna get expensive. Then in the future, I'll be able to sell some piglets so people can start their own animal raising area if they're able to get a hold of that. And with 60 available, 
that'll be a little bit more available than the breeding area. So it'll be good because I should always have people to sell them to for a while since this is the, the rarest portion. Just taking a look here on the breeding area, it does require a male and a female. Same thing, animal breeding requires a maximum of one pair of pigs. Cost 400 of each token and 10 of the LC token for the stake animal breeding farm. And then same numbers with the passes and same with the watering or feeding basically every three hours, three times a day. And then you have to wait 24 hours. And then breeding conditions, you got to match a male and a female. Animal feed, which is wasted each time, which is one. And then tokens per feeding, 30, 30.6 and of course one animal feed and then your reward is going to be two to four piglets with random genders so that's going to be your big reward with this one is making more piglets so you can go through and add them into the other area my main question i'm really wondering in the future what the adult pigs are going to be used for because i feel like they're going to we're going to kind of get a lot of those eventually after all the piglets are raised you know, they have to go through and uh, move them somewhere. So maybe they'll turn them into pork or something like that so we can get some more rewards. That is the awesome farming update. I really like it. I think it adds a lot to the game, which I appreciate because having more stuff to do is always fun. It's kind of like Farmer's World, if you will, because you do have the farming aspect now and you have the raising of the animals. But it's 3D and it just seems better. I like it a lot. It runs smooth. There's so many other things to do in this game. This is just this month's update. There's an update about once a month that's pretty large. You can check out my last video. Definitely check it out on how to get started with fishing. I recommend getting a fisher. And if you can get an access pass, they're pretty cheap right now. You can get one of those. And also I would get one of each rod, maybe a rare if you could afford it. The prices aren't bad right now. So it's a good time to get in because people are figuring out this portion and they're still unsure. And some people are like, oh, wow, this is cool. I'm going full force in it. And then they're buying token and then token will go back up. So hopefully that's the case. We'll see how it goes. I know right now I am not selling any tokens. I'm just using it to build this up. And then once I build it up, maybe I'll get another set of rods and then I will work on a gold badge. But I do want to fill up all the pigs and all the piglets and all the farms that I can. First, it's going to be the seeding. That's the most important for me because this animal feed is expensive. And if I can just get it through here, that's going to be a lot more right on for me. And if I can get more seeds, which I really want to do, I'll be able to do seven instead of four. I feel this one's the easiest to do by far because you don't need animal feed. You just need to water them with tokens and you just need seeds to get started. If you are playing the game and you want to try some more stuff, but you don't want to go crazy, I would definitely go to the farming plot because these are going to be needed. People are going to need the animal feed and the seeds. $40 for it. It's not bad. I'll leave the link down below in case you want to check it out and join me in this game. I also put the fishing video at the end here. You should definitely check it out. Thanks for the view.